I am back, guys, today, streaming McGee's step into management again, guys. Uh, welcome back, uh, everybody, and welcome back to seeing me stream for the first time in about four days. So, yeah, you know, I do apologize about that, guys, uh, about the fact that it has been, like, four days um, since I last streamed. Um, it's mainly just because... Um, I've just been so, 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 like, busy in life. Like, you got to understand, guys, that, you know, it's, it's been, it's been a busy, it's been a busy time in my life, um, for various reasons. So when I decided to stream for the first time in a while yesterday, and my microphone and my um, phone decided to both just be like, yeah, you know what, we're just not going to fucking let you do that. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, great. You know, just, yeah, because that would just be perfect for me, wouldn't it? That would just, that would just wrap up exactly what I expect. You know what I mean? Like, I fucking wanted to stream yesterday and my phone and my bloody goddamn, um, my phone and my, um, <sighs> Uh, what's it called, um, headset, just decided to just completely give up, and, yeah, it wasn't helpful, it was not helpful, um, so, yeah, you know, kind of annoying, if anyone has not watched the last episode of McGee's Step Into Management, pretty much we made all the signings, you know what I mean, well, we didn't make all the signings, because we're still probably going to make some signings, guys, but, we made signings and we started the new season. We got through preseason. We made new signings. We put people on the list. We sold people. So like we've we've had a pretty productive month, dare I say. Um, but yeah, you know, today we're pretty much going to start the season, guys. You know, we haven't started the new season yet. We're we're we are beginning the new season. You know, and like hopefully starting on a high you know what like instead of like joining brighton when they're in the relegation zone and trying to pull them out of it which by the way i did guys obviously i'm in still in the premier league um but you know this is my first full season as brighton boss as long as i stay here the whole season because you know last season i had to bloody goddamn leave live uh, uh luton halfway through and joined Brighton at the January transfer window, which means I didn't have too much time to try and... Because they were in the relegation zone. And luckily, I pulled them out of it. So, you know, this is my first full season as Brighton boss. Uh, we will be starting today with these three games. Uh, I will be playing this one and this one. And I will be simming the Leeds one. Um, however, guys, we're still going to make some more signings. You know, we are still going to probably make some more signings today. Because I'm sure we'll probably get some transfer offers. And to be honest, I'll probably accept some of them. Um, I just want to change my, the way, like, my man McGee looks at the moment, because I, I feel like he doesn't, he doesn't look ready to manage, you know what I mean, like, he doesn't look bad, but, like, at the same time, guys, I, I've, I've thought on it, and I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna wear the shorts and thing, I'm not gonna have a hat like this, like, I need to have a hat that suits the occasion, you know what I mean, the hat doesn't go with the shorts and the suit, I don't mind having a short, a pair of shorts and suit, but I can't have this hat. Like, if I'm going to wear a hat, like, you know, it would have to work with it. And right now, it doesn't work with it. You know what? You know what? I'm okay with that. McGee's looking kind of fresh. Look at how he looks right now. I think he looks quite fresh, you know. Like, that hair is kind of clean on McGee. I think I like that, guys. That's going to be my man McGee right there. That's going to be my dude McGee right there. Um... <laughs> He's ready to be Brighton boss this season, right? As of right now, by the way, I've got these five players on here. Uh, Vishka's there as just a backup. Like, if I'm desperate to sign a right mid at the end of the window, I'm willing to get him. Mainly just because he's a quick fix. You know, he's not someone who's going to start for me. He's not someone who's ever going to become my main right mid. He's just there as a quick fix if, for instance, someone decides, like, oh, I want to leave, you know, or something like that. Um, Kofi is there because he actually looked pretty good. Um, so he's there just in case I want to go for him, like, if I've got a spot available. Ramos was there as a player that I would have, uh, gone for for free as a goalkeeper if I needed a goalkeeper. But now he's already signed for a new team, which kind of sucks, because that means I can't... He was a free agent goalkeeper, and I was going to go for him, like, if, for instance, Steele decided to, like, want to leave. 
and then I would have had him as like a third choice keeper. But he's now been signed up. This guy I'm scouting because he looks really fucking good. So I would really take this guy for the future. You know what I mean? Uh, and then Volan's there again, just the same as Vishka, really, where it's like he's a backup striker in case one of my strikers get like it. Because, like, you got to remember, guys, I'm Brighton boss. I'm not like Man City boss, you know. If I get an offer for someone and it's, like, too good to turn down, I'm not going to turn it down. You know what I mean? Just because maybe, like, Joao Pedro, for instance, is, like, a really good future player. If I get, like, a 50 million offer right now, I'm going to fucking accept it because I can use that to get loads more players, if you get me. You know, like, we've got Yuri Tielemans through the door as, like, a big midfield player to try and, like, give me that, you know, solidity in midfield. He's probably my star signing so far. Uh, then I've also signed Mateus Franca as, like, a future cam. You know, 20 years old, he can hopefully become a future player. And I've got Cartena as, like, a centre-back for the for, for the few years, you know what I mean? Because he's very solid. Um, other than that... Uh, I'm going to send Enciso and Offia back on loan. Enciso isn't quite there to be a starting player yet, but hopefully after a year loan at Fulham, he might be able to become a first-team player for us. You know what I mean? Um, oh, here we go. This is all of the pe Oh, this is all the listed people. All these players are listed for loans um, because I'm trying to get some people out on loan so that we can, you know, give them a chance to shine. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the plan. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much all I did, guys, um, last time out. I also signed a couple of other people uh, that, for some reason, are not on the signing thing. Like, obviously, look, there's Katena, there's Tielemans. Um, I got Furlan Mendy, guys, uh, because when Arsenal came in for a Stupinian, I wanted Furlan Mendy as part of the deal, and I got Furlan Mendy as part of the deal. So I think it was good, because I got rid of a Stupinian who was moaning and bitching constantly about, like, oh, I didn't want to be at the club, I'm not a happy person, and instead, I got a player who's hopefully a bit more committed, and he's more sweaty. So, yeah. But yeah, uh, leaving lights just helps me out a little bit uh, in, in uh, you know, in the norm, anyway. Um, but yeah, the uh, Premier League season, guys, is going to get underway this video. Um, the three new teams that came up was uh, Leeds, Leicester, and Middlesbrough, who replaced... Um, they replaced... Uh, Sheffield United, Burnley, and Luton, the three that came up uh, this season. So, yeah, you know, it was a pretty simple, like, you know, who came up, who went down situation. Uh, what's happening in the news? No sign of... Yeah, they're not playing yet. Pardo surplus... Well, he's going on loan, yeah. Uh, he's keen to go on loan. Surprise loan deal for Sarmiento? I don't think it's surprise. I think it's just that he goes. Um, Villarreal seal Aaron Hickey signing for 19 million. Nice. Man United have spent 111 million on Ronald Araujo. Excuse me? He's not worth that. He is not worth 111 million in real life. I don't care if Barcelona value him at that. He's not worth that. 111 million on Araujo. You're fucking off your rocker. They fucking rinsed us. Anyway, guys, uh, I think we move forward uh, a couple of days and see if we get some transfer uh, things come through the door. You know what I mean? See if we get some um, some deals come through the door. Godoy loan offer. Newcastle have shown Newcastle. Why are Newcastle wanting Godoy on loan? And it's just a one year loan. It's not like, you know, they want him for like, you know, Bro, it's just a one-year loan, no option to buy. That's exactly what I want. All right, off you go, mate. I'll accept that. Like, why would I not accept that? You know what I mean? Like, end of the day, they want him on loan, and I've already said I'm willing to send him on loan so it boosts his price up. I wouldn't have minded getting, like, an option to buy on Godoy's loan, but end of the day, I didn't, so... But, hey, you know, like, I'm willing to do a one-year loan to New... Why would Newcastle want Godoy, though? I mean, I have no issues with it. If he wants to go, he wants to go. Um, I just want to say, Gaffer, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment, so I'm not sure a loan is the best thing for me. I know you have to look at what's best for the club as a whole, but I wanted to let you know how I felt. Um, you've got a future here. You know what, Kozlowski? I like that. I like that. I like that. I just wanted to say, Gaffer, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment, so I'm not sure a loan is the best thing for me. I like that from Kozlowski. You know what? I'm actually going to take you off the loan list for that. Because you know what? I had him on the loan list, guys, as like, you know what? He could maybe go on loan for a season and it might do him well. 
But you know bloody what? You know bloody what, guys? I like that. I like that from Kozlowski. I like that that initiative, saying he's enjoying his football here and he wants to bloody goddamn stay and, and play a part in it. You know what I mean? Like, I thought alone might do him well because, you know, we do have, like, Adingra, we do have um, um, Antuna, the left wing, and then we obviously have, like, Solly March and stuff like that. So, like, I was thinking maybe he won't get enough game time, so maybe, he you know, alone could do him well and stuff. But the fact that he wants to stay and, you know, contribute at the club, I like that, you know? I like that. Oh, another Godoy loan offer for West Ham. See, now I'm down to take an option to buy on Godoy because Godoy's one of those players that, like, I'm loaning him to try and drum up interest. That's the plan. Like, I'm not loaning him because, like, you know, I'm, like, you know, want to see how good he gets in the future. He's 29, and he wasn't that great when I used him. Like, I signed him in January. He hasn't been that great since I've had him. So, like, the reason why I've not, like... That I'm loaning him is to try and drum up a little bit of interest in him so that I can sell him. Because uh, Veltman's retiring at the end of the season. Lamptey's obviously staying. Other than that, Godoy, I don't need him because I've got Veltman and Lamptey and I'm fine with them for a season. So, like, I'm trying to drum up interest because he'll be 30 by the time the season ends. And that's too old for a 74 rated center, uh, uh, right back. If he was like 78, 79, I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Like, rated. Because then, then it's like, you know, he'll just go down and then they'll get rid of him slowly. But at this point in time, it's like, he's a little bit on. He's a little bit too old at this point. Um, so I'm down to do an option to buy on this guy. Um, but let's negotiate it, shall we? Let's negotiate an option to buy. Because I'm okay with him going. Look at my majestic locks, bro. I'll tell you right now, McGee with these locks, he's looking like a different breed of man right here. Like, I'll tell you what, like, he always used to have, like, some hair that, like, looked a little bit on top. Like, he still looks a little bit weird with the shorts on and stuff. But, hey, you know, why is it why is it a bad thing to get your knees out in the summer? You know what I mean? That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Because, like, he's not getting any younger, guys. And you've got to understand that, like, if I lock that in now, once he turns 30, his value will go down. And he's currently 3 million in value right now. Like, his current value is 3.2, which might, you might think, oh, that's not good. But by the time the option to buy comes into play, which is obviously, he might go to Lu uh, Newcastle anyway, so that might not even matter. But, like, whichever one he decides, he can pick, you know. But what will be the case is if he, like, you know, by the time he gets to 30, his value will drop. So I feel like getting him at 3 million now is good because I feel like in a year's time, they might ask for like 2.5 and then I've kind of robbed them because of 3 million. So, you know, I, I, I think it's one of them where if he does choose to go to West Ham instead, solid. All right. Well, and CISO has gone on loan. Um, Sydney FC have come in with a deal to try and take Pardo on a uh, loan to buy. That's not happening, mate, uh, because he's a young little fella. Uh, and I am not selling him. <laughs> um, we're going to propose the loan without a buy option. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Who's this Who's this stunning man right here? Who is this man? Sydney FC, bro. They've got a man with a bit of a magnificent jawline here. Who is this man right here? Holy shit. Who's this man? He's, he's giving McGee a run for his money, bro, with his hair. Like, he's like a, he's like a, a, a grey, he's like a grey fucking goddamn, you know, like his hair. He's like, like, you know, when people say, like, you know, people are aging like fine wine. This, this manager in my office right now, I feel like he's aging with fine wine, bro. He looks, he looks nice and clean. Like, he looks, he looks really good for his age. You know what I mean? Like, he does look a little bit dopey in the eyes, but he looks nice and clean. You know what I mean? Sydney FC's manager, they've got, they got a man right there. But it's nothing on McGee's bloody goddamn magnificent purple locks or pink locks. You know what I mean? It's nothing on him. So we've got a centre-back, we've got a right-back, we've got a left-back, we've got a right-winger, we've got striker, centre-mid. So, like, all we really need now is probably, like, another, like, left-mid on there so that, like, if an offer comes in, I can replace them with whoever the fuck I've got on my list. That's what I'm kind of doing at the moment, guys. Like, I'm not really, like looking to sign people because what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait until like the last couple of days of the window and then i'll sign the positions that i need because right like, i haven't played a game this season so i don't know what positions are letting me down yet you know i don't know if like certain midfielders are letting me down or if certain you know 
like defenders are letting me down and stuff like that. So I don't know what positions. I feel like I've made the signings I need to make, like uh, you know, Fulham, Mendy, Tielemans, Franca. Um, there's another one that's big, uh, Katena. You know what I mean? Like, I've signed a lot of really good positions, but now it's just about seeing what other positions I could do with because I only have two places available at the moment. I only have two places in my squad available. I have 49 players. I'm only allowed 51. So, you know, I only have two places left. So depending on what positions let me down will depend on who I really get through the door, if you get me. Um, who's gone to Brentford? I thought that was Lanzini for a second. No, it's Lazari. Okay, so that's the guy from, like, Lazio, isn't it? That's like a right back, I think. Yeah. Uh, Lens, I've got Luis Sinistera from Leeds. That's a big signing. That's not good for Leeds either, by the way, because Leeds are just in the Premier League now, you know what I mean? Leverkusen have got Nico Williams. That's actually, like, a realistic signing, in my opinion. Nice have got Luca Dina. Real Madrid have got Udoji. Tottenham are losing out. And Raheem Sterling's gone to Inter. Oh, my God, he's left them. He's left them. Oh, my God. A big fucking goddamn moment there. Um, okay, so Godoy's one has been rejected with them because he went to Newcastle. Uh, a Yari loan offer has come through from Espanyol, um, which I am going to negotiate and go for without the purchase option. Uh, I'm not looking to, to sell um, because I don't see the need. You know what I mean? Like, I really don't see the need. Um... Because, like, end of the day, I'm trying to give him a future. So, like, I'm letting him go out on loan, see how he does, and then he can come back and impress me. He wants, they want the 60-40. All right, whatever. I don't care. Like, end of the day, 60-40, it's not a big deal, you know. We have had a transfer offer come through for Lamptey, though, guys. That's not going to happen. That's the one position where I would say we're not going to do that. Because, you know, after just getting rid of Godoy... All my right back options are is bloody Lamptey and Veltman. That's it. And then Pardo, who's going on loan, and Marino, who I'm trying to loan. Uh, but we've got the Bournemouth game coming up, guys. Um, oh, wait. No, no. I, I thought there was going to be a, a thing come through. Oh, bro. This, this, this Bournemouth game has given me a little bit of nerves, guys. Because first game of the season is always going to give me nerves. Because I don't know how my team's going to play. You know, I haven't played with Mendy. I haven't played with Cartena. I haven't played with Tielemans. I haven't played with any of these players yet. So I don't know how these players are going to play. You know what I mean? So if I don't know how the players are going to play, I'm a little bit nervous about, like, you know, what to expect, if, you dare, if I dare say. You know what I mean? Um, so... Uh, match rescheduled for the Brighton Leeds match. It's only been pushed to like an extra couple of days. Uh, Ayari has been loaned. I've got a loan offer come through for Uribe. Um, were you born in a set? I was born in London, but I never, I didn't live in London. I was born in London because I went to London Hospital, but, or they went, went to, to, you know, have me, but I, I, I was never like, oh, They've come in with a loan option to buy, but like the option to buy is going to be so shit at the moment because it's only like I've got to make 2.5 million on youth sales, but like he's not market valued at anything more than 190k. So it's like there's no point in me putting an option to buy on this dude because he, like he won't get me the 2.5 million of youth sales. So it's like I might as well do it with someone who's actually going to get me that straight away. You know what I mean? We've also had a transfer offer come through for Simmer from Empoli and we've also had one come through for Beadle from Monaco. Now, this is where things become difficult, guys, because I've got to decide on Beadle and Simmer, right? Now, Simmer, I don't really want to get rid of, guys. I will admit, because I haven't used him yet, right? And he's one of my three strikers I'm planning on using this season. He's a 76-rated, 23-year-old striker. He's someone who can, like, rival Joao Pedro, you know? Him and Simmer can rival each other, you know? That's a bit creepy. I'll, I'll, I'll answer that in a sec. Once I've, once I've figured this out, wait a minute, I'll answer that. Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, who... Because, like, I want to keep these three strikers. I quite like them. And, like, the only striker on my um, on transfer list right now that I have as a replacement is Voland. Now, Voland's 32. So it's like... Is Voland even worth it over Simmer or someone like that? In my opinion, guys, 
No. Like, because Simmer's quick. Like, Simmer's quite quick. So I'm going to reject the Simmer deal, but I'm going to have a little look at the Beadle deal. Because Simmer, I don't really want to sell. I don't want to sell Simmer. Simmer's someone I don't really want to sell. Beadle's taking up another position here. Do I really need five goalkeepers in the club? Right? Like, I think Rushworth's a better keeper. I know he's three years older, but, like, I think it's one of them where it's like, I'm not going to get Beadle play, playing time. Like, Beadle's not going to play games. He's not. You know, he's just not going to play games. So, for that reason, it's like, I'm not sure if I need this guy or if he's just taking up a position in the club, if you get me. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something here, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna uh, negotiate. I am going to negotiate for this Beadle deal, right? We're going to negotiate. And we're going to see what we can get. Because it says we can get upwards of about 2.6 million. Right? Now, I'm going to try and get that 2.6 million. Um, I think you need more than five. I think you need more than goal five goalkeepers. Are you sure about that, bro? I think you need more than five goalkeepers. I only use one a game, and I'm, I I would think I only need three, and I've already got five. Like, four is enough. I've got Steele, I've got Olsen, I've got bloody Verbruggen, and I've got Rushworth. I don't know if I need another one, you know what I mean? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sell-on clause in the deal. That's my plan, guys. I'm going to add a 5% sell-on clause and raise the deal to, like, 2.3. That's my plan, guys. Okay, see, look, I'm not desperate to sell, guys. If they didn't want that deal to happen, then, you know, I asked for 2.35. They said no. It said I can get upwards of that. They don't want him. I'm not willing to sell. You know what I mean? Uh, Bergamo Calcio, I've got Dono Arnel Danjuma for 30 million euros. Nice. I am playing Bournemouth today, bro. That's my first game. That's what I was saying. Like, you know, uh, you haven't missed the big thing, you know? You haven't missed me playing Bournemouth. That's my first game of the season. Uh, Lazio, uh, have signed Christian Eriksen. Wesley Fofana has gone to Everton for 28 million. Remember when this guy was signed by Chelsea for 80 something million pounds, bro? Like, people sit here and shit on United for signing Maguire for 80 million. But Maguire is 10 times the player this fucking kid is right here. I did win 2 0. Yeah, I do. Uh, no, I won 2 0. Uh, I won 2 0. I, 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 I only just edited that video. So, yeah, I, I, end, I did it, uh, 2 0. Okay, well, it's 75 million. It was like 80 something million euros, bro. They signed that guy for 75 million pounds, and he's shite at Chelsea from Leicester. He's been injured literally every fucking season. That is a worse deal than Man United with Maguire, because Maguire has started showing up. He has never shown up once in a Chelsea shirt. He's been injured every single game. Right, now the thing is, guys, about this deal, right? I'm not going to accept this deal, right? Because the whole thing it wants me... Like, in two seasons, I have to make 2.5 million transfer profit of youth player sales, right? This guy is not worth 2.5 million yet. If there was an offer that came in where I could get 2.5 million, I'd be interested, right? Because I have to do it. Otherwise, my job is on the line. You know, it's one of the things I have to do as an offer. Even though I might not want to, one of the youth players are going to have to go. Boss, I know I didn't have a great preseason. There were reasons for that. I wasn't feeling 100%, but I'm over it now. If you give me a chance against Bournemouth, I'll show you what I can bring to the team. You know what, Kozlowski? You know flipping what? You know bloody what? I'm going to fucking give you a chance, Kozlowski. I like that attitude. I like that attitude right there. You know, I know I didn't have a great preseason. There were reasons for that. I wasn't feeling 100%, but I'm over it now. I'm willing to give Kozlowski a chance here because earlier on, look, he said, he said, look, I just wanted to say, Gaffer, I'm really enjoying my football at the moment. So I'm not sure a loan is the best thing for me. I know you have to look what's best for the club as a whole, but I wanted to let you know how I felt. And I like that. I like that attitude. I like this guy's attitude, Kozlowski. You know, and then he said, I'm happy you changed your mind about loaning me out. And now I hope you give me a chance. I like this guy's attitude, Kozlowski. I do. I like him. And you know what? For that flipping reason, I'm going to give Kozlowski a flipping chance, guys, because I'm playing it. So I'm going to give Kozlowski a chance out on this left mid, right? And hopefully he'll prove me the bloody goddamn... He'll prove me wrong. You know, hopefully he'll show me what he can do. You know, because he's a good kid. You know, he's like 20 years old and he's 72 rated, you know? He's willing to give it his best shot. And I like that. So let's go to the press conference, shall we? 
Look at my gorgeous locks. Bro, I've given myself such a nice hairdo, you know. I look so clean. You know you're trying to build something at the club. The supporters are excited at what's happening. Can your team make it to Europa League positions? <laughs> we'll be competitive for sure. That's what we'll do. We will be competitive. There's some excitement around the club since you managed to sign Cortena from Asunia. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing as a CDM today, but I still think he'll do it. Um, he'll make the difference for sure. There is some excitement about Yuri Tielemans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you worry, bro. Uh, the lad's got something to prove. That's what he's got, Yuri Tielemans. We've got a lot of new signings starting in this game, guys. We've got Cartena playing at CDM. We've got Furlan Mendy playing as the right back instead of the left back because we've got our left back playing. And then we've got, um, uh, what's his name? Yuri Tielemans playing as more of a deeper midfielder now instead of at Cam. Uh, so let's do a training session, guys. Uh, I think if Kozlowski's playing at Cam, I want to do something that's going to boost Kozlowski. Um, and make him more of like, I, I need the passing to be up, right? So my plan is, I'm going to do one that may be like, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get passing up, guys. You know, against Bournemouth, I feel like we need to be able to pass through the lines. You know what I mean? Cartena, there we go. Why? Why did you do that for Bruggen? I was about to pass the fucking drill, and you fucking did that. I was literally about to pass it if I got those points. And you fucking... <clears throat> Come on, the Seagulls. Exactly. Come on, the Seagulls. <laughs> that probably feels really wrong when I'm playing against your team. <laughs> that probably feels so wrong when I'm playing against Bournemouth. You know what I mean? Like, I've been there because when I play against United, I feel the same. Verbruggen, mate, I'm going to fucking shoot you in a minute. Okay, well, I passed it. All right, fuck me. Verbruggen made that fucking hard, guys. Pre-match, Bournemouth team's looking pretty flipping good, guys. It's looking pretty good. They've got Metham out injured, uh, but they've got Neto in goal. They've got, um, have you got Max Ahrens in real life? Have you got Max Ahrens in real life, the right back? And then you've got Kekarez, Zabanyi, and uh, Senezi. You've got uh, Adams and Cook. Then you've got Hamari Traore, uh, Favre, and then Elliot and Eduard. With a bench of uh, Cliver. What are you playing on, World Class? Yeah, I'm playing on World Class at the moment. Um, because it's I'm playing for Brighton. If I played for like a big team, I'd change it to Legendary. But I'm not a big team yet. Ah, uh, you do. Okay. And then on the bench, you've got Cliver. You've got Tavenier. You've got Sergio Gomez. I know you don't have him in real life. He's a Man City player. Then you've got Nianzu, Travers, Semenyo, and Lowe. Solid team, you know. And you're playing standard form. Stand, just standard formation. <laughs> Um, but this is the team. Yeah, you got Elliot, bro. You had him last season. I'm just saying, when, when you were here to watch us beat you last season, you had Elliot last season. That's why I didn't say anything about him. You had him and Eduard last season. I think the only signing you've got this season is the Sergio Gomez guy, because I haven't seen him there before. Oh. Yeah, we are. Look at all the fans loving life. There's the Brighton fans. Live on EA TV. Do you see that? Eduard and bloody goddamn Joao Pedro were bloody goddamn um, getting a little bit saucy at each other there. Also, Eduard apparently scores, guys, even though, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen in, in this game, actually. Uh, okay, two of my players have just ran into each other there, guys. Remember, I haven't played FIFA in a few days, so you have got to let me get back in. Oh, shit. Yeah, you can tell just from that. Van Hecker. All right, Rico Henry. No, it's fine. Van Hecker's got it. Lovely play. Well done. Bro, your home support's going a bit strong right now, I will admit. But we're going to get this on the noggin. Oh, all right, get it out to the man. We'll recycle. Van Hecker. Oh, noggin. Nice. Katena! Fuck, had to give it a go, guys, didn't I? 
Your team's sitting a bit deep at the moment, Bournemouth, you know. You're sitting a bit deep trying to go on the counter. But look at that, bro. Hamari Traore is not going to have a fucking sniff in this game. Bro, Furlan Mendy is going to keep your fucking goddamn left wing quiet all game this game. A dingra! Oh, these have to hit the target, my man. Nice challenge. Go on, go out to the full, the wing. That's a really good ball into Henry. That's a red card, man! That's a red card! Get the fucking red out for that! That's a nasty challenge! There you go! Fav, get the fuck off the pitch! What is Bournemouth doing to him? That's a horrible challenge on Rico Henry! Disgusting challenge! There's no way you can stay on the field from that! That was always going to be a red card! You cannot do that and get away with it. That's like a three-match suspension right there. You can't... That is disgraceful from Romain Favre. Horrible challenge. Horrible little challenge, that. I'm going to put Rico Henry on it, guys, because he won it. And I think if I can get this as a little dick... Yeah, bro, that's a straight red. Right, let's get this right on a noggin, guys. Ah, I tried to get it to Tielemans and then play it one more. Hopefully, the problem is now, guys, when they're on a red, they're now going to sit. They're going to sit deep. Behind, corner forthcoming. I feel like we are doing very well so far, though. You know, we're, like, we're just missing that goal so far. Control on the noggin. The oh, oh, my God, that almost stuck in from Katena there. All right, we've got a left footer. We're going to do an outswinger. Joao Pedro, that's a pen! Ref, 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 ref! It's not a pen, by the way, guys. I don't actually think that was a pen. But you've got to ask, you know what I mean? You've got to ask. Maybe, like, you know, the ref might be a little bit, you know, nervous after getting that red card, you know? He, he knows it's a, a tight game, so, like... Go on, Adingra. Solly! Oh, my God, Solly was so close, man. Good save for Bruggen, well done. That's their first sniff at a goal. That's their first sniff of a chance up our end of the field. Oh, my God. For Bruggen? What the fuck? Dooley! What the fuck was that? Oh, I'm not impressed with my goalkeeper. A new goalie might have to be on the fucking signing. I don't give a shit if he was there. That is the tightest angle ever. You cannot let that in from there. You cannot let that in from there. What the fuck has my goalkeeper just done there? How the fuck has Verbruggen just done that? How the fuck has Verbruggen just let that in? How in the fucking Lord has Verbruggen just let that in? Oh, Bournemouth are playing so dry, man. <sighs> Half time, man. I'm not impressed, man. I'm not impressed. My players aren't finishing. The Bruggen's not saving. I've been the dominant player, guys. They've had a 0 0.5 expected goals and they've scored. Because the Bruggen let in the most, like, pathetic effort I've ever seen in my life. So what the fuck is Verbruggen doing? I'll tell you right now, Verbruggen, you might as well get on a fucking plane, mate. Because I'm not keeping you around. Or I'm not keeping you as the first choice, or I'll tell you that. And it's a shrewd bit of business. Good ball. Bro, I need pass options. I'm not getting pass options right now, bro. None of my players are giving me pass options. I'm actually going to lose this match. I'm actually going to lose this match because I'm not getting pass options. He's offside. So I, subs, game. Subs. I need subs. Kozlowski off. He's done nothing. He fucking asked about how he wanted to start. He's done fuck all. He's been terrible. Solly March! How are you missing that? Oh, my God. I can't, man. I can't win games if this is how my team's going to play. I can't win games if this is how my team's going to fucking play, bro. I can't win games if this is how my team is going to fucking play. Bro, if I get open shots like that and Solly March misses them, we might as well wrap the season up in the first game of the season. Bro, if that's how my fucking team is going to fucking play, we might as well wrap the fucking season up here. 
Fuck off, March. I don't care. Give me a red. Yeah, I want him off. I, 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 I'm better without him. I don't care. Give me a red card. I want him off. I want him off the pitch after he missed the chance because I'm going to transfer list him after this game. Him and fucking Verbruggen are getting transfer listed because that's the two players who fucking goddamn lost me this match. That is the two players who've lost me this match. I feel, I feel like I have more chance of winning this game without Solly March on the pitch. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I am done. All right, Rico Henry, you're on the transfer list as well, mate. You're on the transfer list as well. Three players are going on the transfer list at the end of this game. My players have literally just down their tools in that game. I'll keep, I'll keep three players. Three players impressed me in the entire game. I might keep Rico Henry. He might be someone I might give a chance to. Because to be fair, he is a left back trying to shoot. But the other two, Solly March and Verbruggen, they're gone, bro. I, I don't care. I might keep Rico Henry, but Verbruggen and Solly March are not staying. Verbruggen and Solly March are not staying. I'll keep Van Hecker, Tielemans, Rico Henry and Furlan Mendy in the team. No, 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 no. Henry can stay. The other two are, uh, nah, nah. They can fucking go. They can fucking go. I'm not even doing a post-match. I don't even want to do a post-match. I'm that angry at my players. I don't even want to do a post-match. I, 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 if I don't sign players, I'm glad these players have shown up in the fucking early stages. Because now I can see what I'm going to fucking, yeah, bro. I, I'm so glad they've done this early. I am so glad they're showing me early who's not going to be a part of this fucking team. I am so glad they're showing me early who's not going to be a part of this team. You get on the fucking transfer list, Solly. Get the fuck out of my club. Get the fuck out of my club. And Verbruggen, you also go the fuck out of my club. I can get a better fucking free agent goalkeeper than Verbruggen. I don't fucking care. Them two are the two players going on the fucking transfer list. Rico Henry, I'll give benefit of the fucking doubt. Because apart from the, go the missed chance, he didn't do terribly. The other two literally lost me the match. I need signings, guys. I need fucking signings and I need players to come through. Um, Joao Pedro transfer offer. You want me to be honest with you, guys? Uh, I'm a bit surprised you're looking to move me on, but I can't say I'm unhappy about you. Can't guarantee your games, mate, because you, you, you're shit. Uh, sorry, mate, but you're not good. Like, that's why I'm looking to move you on. I can't lie to you, guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm not fucking sold on keeping Joao Pedro at the club at this point. Like, I will do the West Ham game, boss. Don't you worry. I'm doing the West Ham game. I'm not sold on keeping Joao Pedro at the club. I think I'm going to reject this deal, but I'll tell you right now, if Joao Pedro has another fucking goddamn game where he doesn't do anything, you know, you're walking a fucking tightrope at this point, Joao. I don't care if you've got potential, because at the end of the day, you played in that game and you did fucking nothing. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying, mate, if you fucking do fuck all and show me that you're going to play like shit again, I'm not, I'm not, you know, accustomed to have to keep you. You know, if you're going to do shit... I'm willing to get rid of you. Simple as that. You know? But yeah, we got the Leeds game coming up. And I'm looking to just shortlist some players now. Because I need players to come through the door, guys. I need players to come through the door. I need signings. I need players who are willing to work. Because at the moment, I feel like I've got players who aren't willing to give it their all. You know? And that's what I saw in that game. I saw some players like Tielemans, like Van Hecker, like Mendy. You know? Even Rico Henry, I'll give him benefit of the doubt. They, they, they gave it their all. Other players like Joao Pedro, you know, fucking Kozlowski, people like that. Nah, I'm not impressed with what I saw. I'm not impressed with what I fucking saw right there, you know. It was it was a weak showing. That's all I will say. It was a weak showing. That's the, the centre mid. I don't think I'm going to sign him. Centre mid is not as important. Kozlowski transfer offer. He didn't play very well in that game, guys, Kozlowski. He didn't play very well in that game. Like, I played him as a cam and he didn't do that much. But I don't think I'm going to sell him, though. I don't think I'm going to sell him. It's too late in the window. I would have to replace him and I don't really have a replacement. So, like, it's too late in the window to try and, like, sell him at this point. Lewis Hall's gone to Aston Villa, guys. Uh, but, yeah, what's your predictions? Anyone got any predictions for the West Ham game? Because you predicted me to win the bloody Bournemouth game and look where that got me. So, <laughs> you know, like, has anyone got any predictions for me to probably get smacked by West Ham here? Anyway, we've got the game against Leeds. Uh, I've got a Verbruggen transfer offer coming, guys, which is good. Because I am getting rid of him. I don't fucking care. The second he sells, I'm getting a free agent keeper, by the way. 7-0 West Ham. Well, that's a little bit biased. <laughs> um, 
Sevilla have expressed an interest in Bart Verbruggen. Uh, I'm willing to get rid of him. I don't fucking care. I don't want him at the club. I, I'm sorry, guys, but like, I, I, I've given Verbruggen so many chances to be a good player. And if he's not going to save shots, then it doesn't matter how much potential he has. You know what I mean? Like, If he's not going to save simple shots like that, it doesn't matter how much potential he has. There we go. 15 million. Get Verbruggen out. I don't care how much I make from him, guys, because end of the day, I will sign a free agent keeper and we'll use this money for other positions. You know what I mean? Because, like, the only keeper I have on my um, on my transfer hub is um, this Claudio Ramos guy. I don't want him for Verbruggen. He's not good enough. So we'll look at free agent keepers. Um, and I'm also going to get rid of Nuama because they're going to sign him, uh, someone else, and I'm not interested in him. Do I think I'm going to beat Leeds, guys? Honestly, if you want me to be blatantly honest with it right now, guys, I don't honestly think I'm going to beat Leeds. Um, but yeah, uh, Olympic Lyon have uh, got Jacob Murphy. Saliba's gone to Real Madrid. I honestly do not think, guys, that I'm going to fucking goddamn bloody beat Leeds here. I think I'm going to see another L. Because when I sim, guys, I lose. And that's simple as that. When I sim games, I lose games. It's as simple as that, guys. So the team is looking like that. They've got Bamford, they've got Tillman, Harrison, Gnonto, uh, Rocker, Ampadu, Robinson, Lorente, Wober, Shackleton, and Melier. I think the only signings is Robinson at left back and Wober. I think everyone else is normal, is it not? Um, so yeah, that's a decent little team. But will I win it, guys? Will I actually win it when I sim? I don't honestly think I will, personally. But we're going to be going with this team. We're going with Undav, with Simmer, uh, Pascal Gros. Are you? Uh, then we've got Igor and Tillemans with Mendy, Veltman, Van Hecker, Henry and Olsen. Quick sim. We lose this, guys. I'll tell you that now. Oh, we won the game, guys. And another fucking red card for fucking Simmer, guys. But we won the game. At least we get a win in the sim, don't we? Only bloody just. Tillemans scored in the 15th minute. Ampadu got a goal in the 40th minute. Uh, and then Pascal Gros saved the game late in the game after Simmer got a red uh, in the 78th minute, guys. But we like to see that. You know what I mean? We like to see that. Simmer did terribly. Um, Franca came on and did all right for when, uh, you know, he came on. Um, but yeah, Undav was fantastic. Gross was fantastic. Uh, Igor was really good with Tielemans. Uh Henry was good at the back with Veltman. Olsen was good in goal. Um, the other people like Hanche Olsen wasn't great. Neither was the other centre back. Um, so Hanche Olsen wasn't great. Um, Franca, uh, in mid, uh, I think that was, was that right mid? I think that was at right mid. He wasn't great. Yeah. Van Hecker and Ayu weren't great. Um, yeah. Van Hecker, Ayu and Simmer were not fantastic. So the wingers didn't really do too much. And Mendy. So Van Hecker, Van Hecker, Ayu, Simmer and, uh, Mendy were not brilliant. Um... But hey, you know what? We won the flipping game, guys. You know, we'll take that. We'll take that as a building block. Because to be honest, guys, I went into this game expecting to lose this as well. Because I'm not impressed with my team recently. But hopefully we can use this to beat West Ham. You know, maybe. Uh, and we've got an offer for Solly March. Which has included Calvin Bassey as part of the deal. Hmm. I'm going to negotiate this. I don't want Calvin Bassey. I want to change the player. I'm going to try and get a right mid here, guys, if I can. Um, I'm hoping I can take one of their wingers. Have they got someone that could be good? Like, I'm thinking maybe can I nick, like, Adama? Because even though, like, he's not, you know, that expensive, he's a good player, isn't he? You know, <laughs> like, having Adama for a season, you know, or, like, a few seasons, I feel like that could be pretty good. They don't really have many players I would want. Like, they have, obviously, like, a few players. Like, they're Paulinho, but he's too much. Who should I try and nick here, guys? Like, they haven't got a goalkeeper I want. I mean, I could take Leno, but, like, he's 32, you know? Like, he's getting on. So, it's like... Do I try and nick a Dharma? What are we saying, guys? Shall I try and nick a Dharma from them? Like, obviously, I'm going to get money as well. I'm not just going to get a Dharma for a March, because I, I can make more money on fucking March than they can make on a Dharma. So, like... I can definitely add money to the deal, but like what I'm wondering is, could I could I nick? Shall I try and nick a Dharma off them? Uh, but I am going to ask for a lot more money because his value's 14 mil. A Dharma's only fucking like six million value, so I am going to ask for like 10.5 million as well. You know, that's my idea. I'm asking for a 10.55 million, 
and Adama Traore and see if they accept that. You know what? I don't think that's a bad little deal, guys. I know he's technically three ratings lower than bloody thingy, but I'm guaranteeing you he will play so much better because he's quick and he's strong as fuck. So it saves me having to go and look for a right mid. You know what I mean? It gives me a right mid through the door that um, hopefully can come in and be a beast at right mid. You know what I mean? It just saves me having to spend money on it. You know what I mean? It saves me having to bloody goddamn use up stuff on a right mid. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like getting a Dharma through the door is, is, is good enough. He's an important player. That's all I really ask for. Someone who can, you know, make a difference. On a three... He, he wants four years. Well, he wants three years. I'm going to make it four. Um, We're going to accept that. 42k... If I get rid of the bonus and I give you 44k, what are we saying? Alright, that's fine. I don't mind that. We get Adama Traore through the door, guys. Now, hopefully they'll accept it on the other end for Solly March. And then we can have Adama Traore, guys, come through the door. Because I don't want I, I don't want Solly March. I've already said it plenty of fucking times. I don't want Solly March. He's pissed me off. I'm upgrading by a fucking amount. I don't care if the rating isn't upgrading, guys, because Solly March is 30 years old. He's getting on. Adama Traore is an upgrade on fucking Solly March. I'm just going to say it. Like, it's pretty obvious that it's an upgrade. So, it might not look like an upgrade, but it fucking is, you know? So, yeah, you know, hopefully we can see how we do there. But, bro, I think, I think it's a, a very solid signing. You know, I think it's one of them signings where... It, it can really ha make a difference in the season, you know, because he can... I feel like he'll give us that different dynamic with his strength. Um, but yeah, end of the day, I think that's going to be my team for the next game, guys. We've got Hull in the Cup, and then we've got the uh, the, the West Ham game. I don't know if Bozza is still here, um, or Max, but we have got the West Ham game. So it's one of them where, you know, hopefully we can bounce back. But off he goes. Off goes Verbruggen. Don't care. Honestly, guys, I know people will sit here and say, you know, maybe you overreacted with Verbruggen. If he had a good last season, I would have given him some time. I would have. You know, like, if he'd have played well last season, I'd have given him some time. Right? But Jason Steele, 73 rated, outperformed this dude last season. I can't have that. I can't have a man who's 73 rated and like 30 something years old outperforming this keeper. Because no matter how, he might have potential, but end of the fucking day, guys, he's clearly not showing up, you know, in games. And and if that's the case, then he can go. I don't think this is going to be an A or anything like that. I think it'll be like a C or like a D. But, oh, it is an A. All right, I'll take that. I'll take an A on the deal, you know. I don't mind that at all. Like, best possible deal is 16.5. And, you know, end of the day, hmm, we've had another offer for Solly March come through from Burnley. They've gone for straight money, guys. Now, Solly March, in terms of value, um, he should be valued at around... Um, what's he valued? Like he, He's probably valued at around 16-something million. So, you know what? I'm actually going to fucking accept the Burnley deal. Um, because that's how much I've asked for from uh, Thingy. So, I'm going to actually accept the Burnley deal. And let him choose. You know what I mean? It might not. Me it might mean I don't get a Dharma, but hopefully he just goes to Fulham and then I get a Dharma. Hey Gaffer, I know you got a lot on your mind. I thought you should know there's some discontent. Yeah, 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 I know that, bro. Don't you worry. The discontent is fucking goddamn Verbruggen and Solly March and stuff like that. I'm already dealing with that, bro. Don't you worry. I'm dealing with the problems right now. I'm getting rid of them. So you know, I'm dealing with the problems right now. Don't you worry, my man. I don't think I'm seeing anything else here, guys. I don't think I'm seeing anybody that's jumping. He looks like a good future keeper, but not really good enough. Ethan Hurbaf, I know, is good, but he's not better than Steel. They've got to be better than Steel, guys. Because if they're not better than Steel, I might as well keep Steel. You know what I mean? As my backup. I can happily go a season with Steel. I have absolutely no issues with going a season with... <gasps> Again, I don't think he's better, guys. I could get Loris Carius, but... I don't want to keep her as shit, and if I get Loris Carius, it's like, well, you know, I'm kind of just backing up my fucking god... I'm, I'm not backing up my statement, am I? You know, because <laughs> then I'm getting Loris Carius. So it's like, no matter what I do at that point, it's like, you know, I'm in trouble if I do that. Um, Calvin Ramsey, final scout report. Uh, have come through. Diego Lorente, final scout report. Lamptey transfer offer. I'm not accepting that. I've already rejected about a million of these offers. 
I'm not getting rid of Lamptey, guys. Lamptey is not one of the players I'm willing to sell. He's not like Verbruggen, who's like, you know, kind of sealed his fate. Adama through the door. So he's gone to Fulham, guys. This is going to be a big boy right here. Like, just wait until we see this man on the fucking treadmill, guys. His muscles are going to be fucking huge. Look at the unit on him. Wingers, fullbacks are going to be terrified of this man. We've got Adama Traore through the door, guys. This is a massive Solly March replacement right here. Like, do you think your West Ham player is going to be able to deal with my man bloody Adama? Bro, this big... Look at his muscles! <laughs> He's a big boy! He's a big boy! I don't think this is going to be an A, by the way. It's a B, yeah. Bro, look at this man! You think you're going to be able to deal with bloody goddamn Adama? Ooh! Ooh! Boy! Lovely. But yeah, Solly March has gone to Fulham. I don't mind that. I have no issues with that. Uh, your scout report is done. Your scout report is done. Yours is done. Yours is done. Yours is done. Uh, these are the only five that I'm still scouting. What? Wait, what about what? Oh, hockey. Uh, hockey is terrifying. If it's normal hockey, sure. Ice hockey? Nah. I don't like the blades on the bottom of the feet. I do not like how you have fucking blades under your shoes, bro. I don't like that. Like, I'm going to cut my fucking, like, hand off doing that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that at all. Um, if it's normal hockey, though, yeah, I'd be good. I, I don't mind doing normal hockey, just not ice hockey. Because I've played normal hockey. Yeah, no, ice hockey, nah. Normal hockey, I I've played that before. I played that in fucking school and shit, and it was, like, really fun. Obviously, you could break your fucking jaw with the, the hockey puck hitting you, or the, or the hockey ball, but, you know, eh. Um, right. Game against Hull, guys. Uh, I'm simming this one. I've already said I am, uh, because I'm playing the West Ham one. Uh, their team looks pretty normal. I don't actually know any of their players, because obviously they're a championship team, Hull. Uh, they're not a Premier League team, so I don't know their players. Um, but that's going to be the team I'm going to use, guys. We've got Olsen in goal with Lamptey, Veltman, Mengi, Henry, Igor Tielemans with Antuna, Adingra, Gross, and Undav, guys. Uh, so hopefully we can win this. Um, yeah, we do just about, guys. I wouldn't say that's a clean win. But uh, Yuri Tielemans with both goals, guys. He's got three goals in three games, Yuri Tielemans, right now. I'm just saying, guys. Yuri Tielemans is kind of fucking goddamn dominating for me right now. Like, he's got three goals in three flipping games right now, Yuri Tielemans. So, well done to him. Well done to him right now. Um, all in all, I think the whole team put in a pretty good shift. Uh, I think Lamptey played a little bit. Eh. Um, I think Lamptey gross did well before he came off. So Gross did very well um, over Franca. Uh, other than that, I think... So I think I think the players we're going to get rid of. We're not going to keep Undav in the team. Um, we are not going to keep any of the subs. So we're not going to keep Undav. We're not going to keep uh, Antuna. We're not going to keep Henry, and we're not going to keep Lamptey. So we're going to change the two fullbacks, we're going to change the right mid, and we're going to change the uh, striker for the game against West Ham. Everyone else is going to stay that started, um, because I think they played well. But yeah, a 2-1 win. Nice little win there, guys. Uh, and we got one more game, and that's against West Ham. Can I win it? I don't know. Honestly, I have no fucking clue if I'm going to be able to win it, guys. But yeah, I think this is going to be the team for the game against West Ham, guys, that we're going to start. Um, after the West Ham game, by the way, I'm going to make another couple of signings from the players that I've got on the, uh, scout. I'm literally going to use the West Ham game to decide what positions I need a bit more players in. You know what I mean? So, like, from the game against West Ham, I'm going to see, like, okay, this position is where we're lacking. Or, like, this position is where the team's looking a bit frail. Or, like, you know, and I'm going to use that to sign people. Would you rather be Puerto Rican just like me? Well, Puerto Rican. I'm assuming it's quite nice over there. Is it not? Like... I'm going by your logic here, bro, but it seems quite nice, you know? Uh, Marino loaned out. Nice. Perez transfer offer. I have re rejected about 20 of these now. I am still rejecting them. And I've also got a Furlan Mendy transfer offer, guys, which you might as well say fuck off. Because Furlan Mendy was the only defender I liked in the game against Thingy, and he's been very good in every game I've played him so far. So, yeah, I'm not getting rid of him, bro. I'm playing this game. <gasps> I know you want West Ham to win. I know I'm going to be fucking goddamn the only one in this bloody stream that wants me to win. But, like, you know, I'm not skipping it. <laughs> oh, good save, Olsen. 
I have kind of like robbed Villa of all their players this season. Like I've got Olsen, I've got Tielemans. I think I've got another player as well. I can't remember who. Like I've been like kind of shopping at Aston Villa this season, which is not a bad thing because they got Europe, you know. So like the players I've nicked, you know, they're obviously doing something right. So yeah, but you know, okay, we've passed it, guys. It's fine. We've passed it. <laughs> we've passed it, guys. It's fine. I passed the bloody training drill. Wait a minute. I, I... You don't get to leak my Minecraft village. You can't leak my Minecraft village, bro. No, how dare you? Don't do that. <laughs> don't leak my Minecraft village, bro. Would you rather be a great footballer or hit 10 billion subs on your... Bro, 10 billion subs, bro. Like, I, I would be... I would be more rich being 10 billion subs than being a great footballer because I'd be the first one. Like if I was a great footballer, there's loads of great footballers. No one's got 10 billion. There's no te there's not even 10 billion people. in. The I think there is 10 billion people in the world now. But like that would mean everyone in the world is subbed to me, which means that would be like the biggest flex in the world, bro. Like there's no way you wouldn't want to do that. Anyway, I passed the drill, guys. We've got finesse shot on Tielemans, finesse shot on Gros and finesse shot on the ding, bro. I mean, I'm just drinking. Ah, lovely. All right. West Ham game. Oh, dear. They've got some good bloody players, guys. They have got some weird players, though, as well. Like, what, what is their team, guys? Suchek's out injured, but they've got Trot in goal. I don't know who Trot is. Who is Trot and who is Fort? Who is Fort at right back? Who is Trot in goal? They've got Zuma and Agurd. That's normal. They've got Gaia. That's a signing. They've got Potts. Who's Potts? Who's Potts? Then they got Alvarez. They got Bowen at right wing, obviously. Moore. I don't know who Moore is either. And then they got Paqueta at Cam. And they've got um, Jonathan David up front. Good signing. The bench is looking cooked, though. They've got, you know, Kudus. They got Rui signing. Areola, Ward Prowse, Ings, Emerson, Corne. They've got a lot of good players on the bench. Um, what do you mean Moore is retired? It's probably not that Moore, bro. It's probably a young Moore. Um, it's probably a different Moore. It's not Bobby Moore, that's what you're talking about, bro. No. <laughs> um, anyway, game against West Ham, guys. This is going to be my team. Some players are a little bit tired, you know, like Pascal Gros and Adingra and uh, Mengi. But they'll get through. And if they don't, we've got, we've got subs on the bench to come on. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, Gros at Cam, Adingra on the left wing. Uh, <clears throat> Mengi at the back with Veltman, Men uh, Mendy. Samuels playing one game before he goes on loan. Uh, and then Olsen in goal, who has set, played well in the last two games. I haven't played either of them, but in those two games, he's got ratings that are good. So, yeah. Jose Gaia is making his debut against me. So, yeah. It's interesting. Bloody hell, you got some decent home support, I will admit. You got some decent home support. But Tielemans is killing it for me at the moment. Like, he's doing bits. All right. Here we flipping go, guys. Do I have what it takes is the question. Do my players have what it takes to do what they couldn't do against... Can they do what they couldn't do against Bournemouth? Finish a fucking shot. Oh, Adama Traore. Cuts inside. Oh, corner. All right. It's a good block from Zuma, I will admit. But Adama's already looking like he's cooking a little bit. Tielemans on my corners. Let's see if we can get this on someone. Oh! Mengi almost got a goal! Mengi almost got himself on the score sheet. Of all the players to get himself on the score sheet. What a little effort and what a save. That's what you do at the near post for Bruggen. That right there is what you do at the near post. Dear me. That's what Verbruggen needs to do more of. That's why he's not here anymore. And then he fucks it up. <laughs> Trot makes an insane save from the first one, and then he does that. <laughs> oh, Trot, mate. Like, you do make me laugh. Trot goes from making an insane save at the near post to doing that. <laughs> oh, Trot, mate. He, he, he's done something. You're going to come back in 2062, yeah? All right, I'll see you when I'm 62 years old. <laughs> Bro, Trot, he's, he's done a little bit of a problem there. Like, 
Seven one incoming. Okay, seven one, not seven nil. Seven one. So if I make it two nil, is it going to be seven two? Yeah. There you go. See, that's what Verbruggen didn't do last game, guys. Save a fucking shot at the near post. Like when they get a shot off there at the near post. Delivering it. Nice clear, Joao. My player couldn't quite get there. That's kind of annoying. Real defensive resilience. Well done, Samuels. That's why I wanted to give him a loan, because like he's not getting enough playing time than he deserves. Like he's a very good little youngster, this uh, Samuels guy. I used him last season as well. It's not just this season that I've used him. Bro, your team are really sitting deep, bro. They're just defending. The defenders know you can't really allow space. I have no pass on there. Like, my cam is not offering me anything at the moment. Look, we'll take half time, but, like, bro, the cam is not offering me enough right now. I'm just saying, like, the cam is not offering me enough stuff right now. We're 1 0 up, but I wouldn't say it's clean. It's been an even game. Four shots to four, you know, like. Yeah, four, three, two. Yeah, that's why then, yeah. You've got, like, a very, very defensive formation. Impossible to break down, which is why I'm happy that we're winning. Um, but, yeah, you know, hopefully second half, they'll come at me a little bit more, and uh, that'll leave some gaps for me to, uh, you know, attack. Okay, Adama has to outpace fucking uh, Gaia. I'm just saying. If Gaia catches Adama Traore, you're chatting shit. Well, what a bargain this is. He'll bring so much... Joao Pedro! Oh, my fucking God. Trot is having a stinker. <laughs> Trot is having an absolute stinker at the moment in goal. Oh, I feel so bad for him, but... <laughs> oh, Trotty boy, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Like, their goalkeeper's probably a young kid. You know, he's been given the game. And he's just... In... <laughs> oh, it's so unlucky. <laughs> what is that, man? That is so unlucky, man. Oh. No, they're not bringing on Ariola, bro. Keep trotting the goal. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, little trotty boy. Uh, end of the day, look, we're 2-0 up. I brought on Kozlowski at cam. Nice, good win back of the ball there. Keep the pressure on. Adama Traore, he's going to smack it at trot, and it's a 3-0 margin, guys. I think the game might well be wrapped up here. If, he, if this happens in real life, I'd die. Yeah, bro, I, I mean, if this happens in real life, I'd feel bad for you. You know, like, what's going on with the keeper? <laughs> this is what I felt when De Gea did it last season against West Ham at the uh, London Stadium, and he let in that shite goal, and that's how you won. But there you go, Adama Traore on his debut, gets himself another on the score sheet, guys. Straight away at the right mid. He did what bloody Solly March wouldn't do, which is put the ball in the back of the net. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's why I signed him up, guys, because we're 3-0 up in the game. I've been impressed with the team so far. I think they've played very well, you know, because it's nice to keep a clean sheet. I say that, but there you go, Veltman. Good block there, mate. Keep the defending. Well done. Another good block. And it's just going to keep rebound. That is not a penalty, EA. I am not hearing that. That is disgraceful. The referee has got his fucking goddamn... How is that a penalty? You tell me how that was a flipping penalty. I want to know what the fuck they've seen in that, that that's a pen. I don't even think with your bias to West Ham, you can say that's a penalty. That's fucking bullshit. That is absolutely flipping bullshit. I'm going to bring Modair on. Oh, you little cunt. Fuck off, David. Bro, I do not deserve to concede that penalty. That penalty is absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful from EA fucking sports FIFA there. Ooh. Joao! And he's put it away, and that is 4-1. Just to wrap the game up, you know, keep it nice and clean. Joao Pedro gets himself another goal in the game, you know? Just to wrap the game up even better, you know what I mean? Wrap it up in a little bloody goddamn fucking bow, you know?
4-1, I think the fact that we conceded that penalty is absolutely disgraceful, if you ask me. But we've won the game, guys, and that's what matters. Bill Gates, the goat. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but, yeah, a solid little goal there, just to wrap the game up nice in a nice little clean little bow, guys. You know, a fantastic little result. And there you go. That is the game finished, guys. It's a win for Brighton, a good away win there. You know, the one against Bournemouth was a little bit of a questionable game, but the bonus is, guys, we bounce back. Joao Pedro with two goals. Uh, Adama Traore with a goal and assist. Adingra with an assist. Yuri Tielemans with an assist. Uh, and just a great performance all round, I feel like. I feel like Olsen didn't have his best game. Uh, but end of the day, it didn't matter because we won the game anyway. Um, bro, you're saying your own name there, bro. You're just listing people now. <laughs> um, Backline played well. Samuels played well. Mengi did well. Veltman did well. Uh, Mendy did well. The midfield of Igor and Tielemans played really solid. Uh, Adama uh, and Adingra played well on the wings. The cam wasn't great. Uh, in Pascal and then Kozlowski who came off the bench but hey you know what yeah we don't talk about R. Kelly bro <laughs> we don't talk about him not him bro he's, he's been uh, he's had a questionable life I will say I think the goals were pretty good though guys you know like the first one was questionable I mean after making an insane save at the near post Trot had a bit of a nightmare I will admit Trot had a bit of a nightmare in this game you know because like after making a worldy of a save at the near post like that Joao Pedro then followed it up with a bloody goddamn corner where he put that in. You know, you can't concede that as a West Ham goalkeeper. Trot cannot be conceding that. You can't be conceding those. You've got Ariola on the bench and you're playing Trot and he's doing that. You know what I mean? You can't do that. Not for West Ham anyway. And then, to make matters worse, he then concedes this. I mean, that that's just unlucky. I can't blame Trot for that because that's just unlucky. You know what I mean? But end of the day, look, things happen in games. And end of the day, he didn't have his best game, did he? You know, yeah, Trot didn't have his best game, did he? Um, but then we wrapped the game up nice and cleanly with a uh, very nice little goal from Adama. Powered across the keeper. You're not saving those. Doesn't matter who you are. You're not saving. Maybe Ariola could maybe try and save those. But, you know, in no far corner. It's a great finish from uh, Triore. And then we wrapped the game up nicely. I'm not going to talk about the pen because the pen was bullshit. But... <laughs> There we go, look, into Joao, and he puts it in the top bins. A great finish, you know, and end of the day, we wrapped the game up nicely in that game. Uh, but yeah, let's do my post-match. Then in terms of defence, I think, like I said, a new fullback could be a very important position to get. Because Veltman is playing centre-back currently, so I only actually have one right-back, and that's Lamptey. And then obviously we have two, two left-backs. Because Veltman's playing centre-back at the moment, and he's doing very well there. So like, I don't really want him to play right-back. You know what I mean? He's being wasted at right-back. So we only have Henry and Mendy and then obviously Thingy. Samuels is going to go on loan. So I think a full-back and a winger could be my final two signings, guys. And then I think we're good. Um, now, if I am going to go for a winger, I'm not going to go for Aaron. Because I don't need a left-back. I need a right-back. So if I'm going to go for anyone, I'm going to go for Calvin Ramsey. Because he's a future right-back. He's 21, he can come in, he can play an odd few game every now and then, and he can also, you know, be there for the future for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Calvin Ramsey um, at uh, right back. I'm going to approach to buy Calvin Ramsey, and then we're also going to go for a right wing. That's my plan. Um, but yeah, he's valued at about 2.2. Uh, I'm going to try and get him for two and see what they say. 2.25. You know what? That's good, actually. I'm fine with that. Like, 2.2, 2.25, like, for Calvin Ramsey, he's going to be a future player for me. You know? He's not a player for now, but he's a player who can come in and, like, maybe play the odd game. Because I don't need a starting right back. I'm fine with Lamptey. I'm fine with Mendy playing there. I just need someone who can rotate. You know, who can be a rotation player for the right back position. So that's what I'm getting Calvin Ramsey to do, you know? He's not a player who's going to come in and jump straight into the starting 11, but he's a player who can come in and then in the future make that jump to starting 11 football, if you get me. Um, but yeah, uh, prospect, he's probably going to want, like, rotation. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. Uh, five years, obviously, I'm going to go for because, you know, maximum years. 
disregard the release clause. Uh, and he is going to earn... He's on 17k right now. Uh, I am going to jump him straight to 20k. And I'm also going to add like 200k signing bonus. I think they will accept that. Yeah, it's a reasonable offer. My, ha my client's happy with that. Fantastic. You know what I mean? Like, there you go. You know, thank you very much. Calvin Ramsey deal. Wrapped up. You know, we had a nice dinner. You know? And uh, there you go. Calvin Ramsey through the door. Not a player who's going to start. You know, he's not a player who's going to start, guys. He's a player who's going to come in and be a future right back. You know what I mean? He's a future player, not a starter. Um... And then other than that, I'm also going to try and work on another player. Um, yeah, Calvin Ramsey, he's coming in to be like, we're doing a Brighton. You know, we're doing what Brighton do best, which is sign youngsters and make them into worldies, if you get me. It's only a C. Um, I could have probably maybe saved like a little bit of money on that deal, but eh. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not really bothered about saving 750k. We're Brighton. We're not like, you know, a championship team that needs to save the odd 750. We've got 82 million. You know what I mean? Because Renier can't play the position I want him to play. So I'm going to go for this Vishka guy. You know, not because he's amazing. Just because of the fact that, uh, you know, he's a stopgap player. His market value is 7 million, but I'm not paying that. I'm paying like, I'm going to ask for like 3.8. That's my starting bid. I feel like I wasted my... Okay, well then, see you, mate. I, I, if, I, if you're not going to be willing to fucking goddamn shift him for that amount, then I'm not interested. Uh, it's as simple as that, you know what I mean? Uh, I gave them an option, and if he's just going to instantly say, oh, well, I, I've wasted my time, blah, 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 then I'll go for Renia. Renia was the player I wanted more, but I just thought, well, because he can't play right mid, you know, he's not going to be able to play, you know, a lot. But I'll just make him right mid, it's fine. Um... Yeah, so their asking price is 4.9. I could probably get uh, about 3.9. So that's exactly what I'm going to try. I'm going to try and uh, get a little bit more money. Uh, or a little bit less money even, sorry. So I'm going to start the dealings at uh, 3.8. Ancelotti's in the building, guys. Ancelotti's in the flipping building. However, I am willing to give you a sell-on clause, Real Madrid. I'm willing to give you a sell-on clause because when I sell him, I'm going to get money. So I'm willing to give you like a 3% in the sell-on. 5% sell on. You know what? That's fine. If that's all they want to be able to change it, just make it 5% instead of 3%. I have no issues with that. You know what I mean? That's as easy as you like. Get Renia through the door. A future player for me, guys. He's got the, the pizzazz to be a Brighton player. It's another Brighton-esque signing, you know? Someone who's young who can become a fucking worldie. You know? So a rotation player. I'm fine with that. Uh, Five years. Yeah, fine with that. Uh, disregard the release clause and the wage. I am lowering this. I am not having you have 63k. I don't mind you having like 45k, but I'll lower this. But I will give you like 900k on a signing bonus. There we go. Nice. I had to lower his wage. I'm not having him on 63 a week. You know, that's a Real Madrid fucking deal. That's not bloody Brighton, you know. But yeah, get Renia through the door. Uh, another player who can just come in. Be a solid little addition and hopefully can uh, take us to the next step. Dare I say. Mm. Mm. Yeah, another player for the future. You know, someone who comes in and will hopefully uh, build on his future with Brighton. You know what I mean? That is a, that is a B. I thought it was going to be an A, to be honest. I felt like I did really well on those negotiations. But, hey, you know what? Best possible deal is 3 million. I don't think I would have ever got him for 3 million. 3.8, I think, is fine. Especially with just the 5% sell-on clause added. Um, but, yeah, Christian Romero has gone to uh, Liverpool. Uh, Alexander Sinchenko has gone to Girona. McGinn has gone to Almeria. Uh, very interesting. There's also been El Aruch to Aston Villa. Um, but yeah, some good little signings there. Some of them. Um, I feel like Zinchenko is a bit of a waste of money, but that's just because I think he's not that great. Um, uh, Imari Samuels has gone on loan to, uh, 
this team, which I'm fine with. I have no issues with him going on loan. End of the day, you know, he's done well for me, Amari Samuels. Uh, he's done fantastically, to be blatantly honest with you. I've got to be honest, he's done brilliantly, Amari Samuels, whenever I've used him. He was great last season. He did great in that game against West Ham. Um, so going out and getting a one-year loan, you know, where hopefully he'll build up some ratings and come back an even better player. You know what I mean? That's the hope. Um, but yeah, we're fine. At, we're, we'll be okay without him. Um... We've had transfer offers for three players. We've had interest in Bondo. It's been brought to my attention that Warren Bondo has been approached by Everton. Monza have received an offer of 2.1 million. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm good without him. Uh, I'm not that bothered. Uh, Napoli offer for Mendy. Yeah, you can get the fuck out of here. I'm not interested in that. Because I sold Verbruggen, guys, I'm not going to get rid of Beadle. Because without Verbruggen, I'm a little bit shorter on goalkeepers now. So I don't really want to get rid of Beadle. Um, and I've had an offer coming for Marin, guys. Now, I actually do have to sell a youth player for 2 million, 2.5 million profit to, um, uh, and that's what I have to do. I have to, I have to sell a youth player for 2.5 million profit. Marin is not going to be that youth player. Like, if I'm going to sell a youth player, it'll be a different youth player that's like, you know, I can get more money for, or a player who's just, you know, less important. Because Marin, for me, is going to be my future player. You know, he's going to be a big player for me. Um, but yeah, we'll advance another hour. Uh, Marquinhos has gone to Arsenal. 92.1 million. Oh, we've had an offer coming from Moran. Now, I'm actually willing to sell Moran. I know he's young. I know he looks all right. But end of the day, he's not a player. Well, actually, am I willing to sell Moran? It does open up a spot. And I have other cams. So it's like, if I need to, I can sell Moran here. Like, I have no... If I get the right amount of money, I'm not against this. Because I can get a new youth player through the door. So I have no issues with this. Um, 2.7 million I can get. I'm going to ask for more. I'm going to ask for 3 million. Uh, straight off the gap. Uh, we're going to just try and get 3 million for this kid. Because he doesn't look that bad. Like, he looks like someone I'm willing to give a chance to. But I have got Mateus Franca, who's the same age and just better. So like, if I get the right amount of money here, I'm willing to let him go. There you go. Simple as they like, you know, let Moran go. And it frees up a spot in my club for me to get a youth player in the future. You know what I mean? Because Moran's not a starter. He's not going to play for me. I've got a lot of cams. I have got a lot of cams in the squad. Big deal there. Eda Militao has gone to Paris Saint-Germain. Very big deal there. 81 million. Uh, club Bruges have got uh, uh, Koufal. Uh, Everton have got uh, Bondu. This was a guy that I was scouting. I was scouting Bondu, and I was looking at him, and I was like, do I want him? And I kind of just thought, nah, because I've got enough midfielders. I've got enough young midfielders. I've already signed Franca this window. I've already signed Renier this window. So, like, and I've obviously got Tielemans as well, who's, like, my main man. So, like, I, I didn't need Bondu as a future midfielder. I've got enough decent midfielders in my club, you know what I mean, that I can hopefully make something of. Um, all right, final hour. Uh, and I'm assuming nothing is going to come through for me. Well, there is. There's some transfer offers. Okay, so there's a Pupian loan. Uh, I'm willing to let him go on loan, Pupian. Uh, I'm more than willing to let this guy go on loan. Um, I'd like to do it without the buy option if possible, but at the same... Actually, am I willing to do it without the buy option? I'm going to try and do it without the buy option to begin with. Uh, and we'll send him on loan, see how he does. And if he does well, good shit. You know what I mean? So off he goes, Pupian, you can go on loan, mate. Uh, I've had another transfer for coming for Beadle. Um, I'm just going to reject it now. It's too late now. Uh, and then if I get an offer, um, like, during the season, I might have to, like, consider it. And then I can, like, look at a player in January. Um, but other than that, Lukaku's gone to Real Madrid. Uh, Garcia to Marseille. And Alba Sorati to Brentford. Uh, so I think that is the January, uh, the summer transfer window, all locked up in a nice little bow there. Um, we've had a Vegara loan offer, uh, from Leicester, which I'm actually okay with accepting, and they can have him in, uh, in January on loan. You're not having a loan to buy, though, I'll tell you that right now. Actually, you know what? <sighs> no, no, I don't really want to do a loan to buy. I would rather him just go on loan, do well, and then I can make money from him next season. Because, like, he's really good, but, like, I have got to make money off of a youth player. So I'd like to do it without, if you don't mind. That's fine. All right, so a short term, yeah, I accept that every day of the week. 
Uh, and yeah, I'll do 60-40. I don't mind Bagara going on loan. I have no issues with that. Like, that's not a player that, like, is going to get too much game time. And it's only going to be in January anyway. So, like, you know, is how it is. We've made some good signings in this window, you know? We signed Robin Olsen, sold uh, Verbruggen because Verbruggen was pretty shit. Um, you know, and Robin Olsen's come in. He's done all right. Uh, we signed Farlan Mendy, who has been fucking insane for me. Uh, so yeah, that's an insane signing. We signed Cartena, who, you know, he's been alright. He hasn't been fantastic, but he's done alright. Uh, other than that, we've signed, um... Uh, where is it? Calvin Ramsey, just recently now, as a player that can come in and be a squad player. Uh, and hopefully a future solid player for me. Uh, we have signed Yuri Tielemans, who's by a mile been my best signing so far. He's been involved in so many things, guys. I'll show you the stats in a second. Um, we've also signed Mateus Franca for a future player, a solid prospect to come through and be a player for me. Um, other than that, we have signed uh, Adama, obviously a really good right mid, came in, debut game, played really well. Uh, Renia, hopefully another future player for me at the right side uh, of the pitch. Uh, and that's about it. You know, that's the squad. In terms of stats so far, though, guys, uh, so far, most games played is Yuri Tielemans. And you can see why, guys. He's played in every game that I've played so far. Other than that, we've obviously got Furlan Mendy on three, Veltman on three, Rico Henry on three, Igor on three, Adingra on three, you know, Hanshay Olsen three, Olsen three, Gros three. In terms of goals, guys, Yuri Tielemans, top scorer right now. He's my top scorer, you know, four games played, three goals, and he's got one assist as well, by the way, guys. Joao Pedro with two goals in two, uh, and CISO's played two games for Fulham, and he's got one goal in the Prem. He's played one game in the Prem, and he's got a goal. So, and CISO's doing very well right now on loan, which is good, because that means he's good for the future. Adama, one game played, one goal for him. Uh, Pascal Gros, uh, three games played, one goal as well. Um... Obviously, Offia and all of that are in there. Uh, in terms of assists, guys, Adingra's at the top right now. Zero goals, but two assists. Yuri Tielemans with one. Adama with one. Uh, and that wraps that up. Uh, and in terms of clean sheets, and CISO, Mengi, and Igor have got current clean sheets of one uh, in uh, every game. Which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we've played pretty bloody goddamn solid so far. Like, I think so far... You know, I can be okay with how we've started the season. Yes, we did lose the first game against Bournemouth. It was not a great one. But at the same time, guys, we then bounced back with two wins from the next two. You know, and now we're in sixth, which is not great. But, I mean, it's where I'm meant to be, you know, up and around this top end of the table. Um, so far, relegation, guys. Middlesbrough, Leicester and West Ham. West Ham at the bottom. Bozza would not like to see that. But West Ham are the only team to get no points so far in the season. So, not a great start for West Ham this season. You know what I mean? Not a great start for West Ham at all. Um, but, yeah. Uh, Premier League Player of the Month shortlist. Is, is Tielemans on there? I feel like he should be if he's not. Uh, he's not. That's some bullshit, bro. He's got three goals, one assist. Um, but, yeah. He's not on there. Oh, well. I'm in demand as well. Apparently, uh, there's a lot of teams that are looking for uh, coming to get me. Um, but yeah, you know, end of the day, not a bad little, not, not a bad little video, you know, like, end of the day, we started with a bit of a, uh, but in the end, went positive, you know what I mean? And next time out, guys, uh, when we play next time, we've got three games of the month, uh, I will probably be playing, if I'm gonna play any of these games, it'll probably be the Brentford one, um, just because of the fact that it's, like, in the middle, so it works, because then I can, like, sim, play, sim. Uh, I'll also probably get given a Carabao Cup game at some point um, in the month. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because there's my Carabao Cup game, guys, against Middlesbrough. So I won't. It will just be the three games, which means I will probably just play the Brentford game. And then we'll get into the next month where we will have these games, and I'll probably play two of these, uh, where I'll probably play against Everton and Man United, I think. That'll probably be my two games I play of those ones. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably play the Everton and the Man United games. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. Thank you to everyone who's been for the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed all the signings and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, like everything that happened today. You know what I mean? I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed and yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to wrap things up right, uh, here guys. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys next time.